have you noticed how new AI tools are popping up every single day? AI website builders, video and image generators, and so much more. Many of these tools are making serious money in dollars. Platforms like Cursor AI, Lovable, Winsurf, Tray AI, Midjourney, Bolt.new, they are pulling in massive revenue. The exciting part, you can build your own AI platform too. And here is a secret most people miss. These tools didn't build their own AI models from scratch. They leverage powerful existing models from OpenAI, Anthropic, Croc, and others. On this channel, we break it all down and learn exactly how to build real world apps using AI step by step. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own AI website builder, which is for building landing pages with AI in seconds. And if you look at the hero section, it looks professional with this section and then the features that include AI powered generation, chart to edit, one click to deploy, beautiful design, clean code and custom domains. And we are going to incorporate pricing or subscription into it. If you look at the features here, these are the features which is AI powered generation as we have already seen at the home page. And this is a pricing page and then we have the signing in and then the registration. Today, almost anyone can build an app using AI by copying a prompt, pasting it blindly and boom, something works without truly understanding the logic behind it. But that is not how we build a production ready applications. For every app that we are going to build, I will give you the complete prompt. More importantly, I will focus on explaining how each component works, the resources required, the packages, and why each piece matters. Once you understand this, you have the confidence to craft precise prompts, iterate effectively, and build apps the right way. The first step is, let's look at the live demo. The first step is that you need to sign in or register. I'm going to click on register here. And in here, you have the option to log in using your Google account or email and password. I'm going to log in using my Gmail account and continue. After registration, I have the option to subscribe to a plan. If you look at the pricing here, we have the free one, the pro one, and then the business plan. For the free one, we have only one site builder and 10 AI generations per month. So I'm going to click on the dashboard here. On my dashboard, I'm going to see the total site, AI generations, current plan, and then the published site. And this link to create a new site, and then my site and settings. Let's begin with the new site. In here, we have the option to provide the name of the site and select either GPT-4 or Cloud. I'm going to choose GPT-4 and then here comes the prompt. And then I have the option to have some inspirations, for example, App Launch or SaaS Startup. And this is a prompt and this is the name. Let me change this one to AI SaaS. All right. And I'm going to choose GPT-4 for the generation. Click on generate site and let's see the power of this application. How is going to generate our website for us. And this is how most of the popular AI tools like Bolt, Lovable, Cursor were built. They started with basic features and with time, they add new features. So this is a starting point to build your dream AI SaaS product. And at the end, you can extend this application to make it more advanced by including new features because I will give you the complete prompt for this application. And here we go. We have a beautiful landing page for our website. 
And we have a beautiful hero section that says that elevate your team's collaboration. And I have the option to preview it. And I can improve this website by chatting with the AI. For example, I can say that make the headline more appealing or compelling. All right, I'm going to stop this one to avoid using my credit. So I'm going to reload to stop the execution. And I have the option to deploy to Vessel by clicking on this. At the moment, the actual logic is not complete yet. But I believe you've seen the flow. And like I said, now anyone can build application. But what matters most is the component behind this application. I'm going to show you how does this application works. And from there, I will show you the tech stack. And that is the component that makes up this application. At the moment, we have three core features. One is site generation flow, chat editing flow, and deployment flow. Let's begin with the site generation. How does it really work? I'm going to have a new site and I'm going to select, for example, app launch. And as soon as I hit generate site, let's look at the flow. The first step is that a user will provide a prompt, for example, to build an app launch website. When I click on the generate site, it is going to call an API in the application. And that API is going to perform the following. It is going to check user limit. At the moment, we have a subscription plan either the free one or the pro plan. For the free one, you have the option to generate one website. So this endpoint is going to check the user limit. And as soon as it passes, then it's going to call AI provider with system prompt, either by using GPT-4 or Claude. And this AI model is going to pass the JSON response. And that is AI returns structured site content. And from there, it is going to save into our database. For this case, I used MongoDB to create the site document. And then from there, it is going to return to the client with a site ID plus the content for preview, as you can see here. That is how it works. So assuming that we have the site being generated, at the moment, I am on the free plan. So when I click on generate site here, as you can see the error message, site limit reached. Please upgrade your plan or delete existing site. For this one, I have two options, either to delete my existing website or to subscribe to a plan. And this check was done by using our custom API to check the user limit. So before I proceed on, let me show you how a user can upgrade his or her plan. I'm going to click on settings here and below I have the option to upgrade to pro plan by using Stripe. In here, you have to provide your credit card information for the subscription. I'm going to get back here because I haven't implemented what is called webhook. So, Let's get back to the dashboard here and we have one website and one AI generations out of 10. My current plan is this. So I'm going to open this one. The first step is how the site is being generated. And after generation, we have the option to re treat or to improve the application by using a chat. Let's look at the flow. Let's say I provide this prompt and that is change the headline to something catchier. With this one, it is going to call an API in the application to fetch the current site content from our database by getting the existing content from DB. And from there, it is going to send to AI with the current content with user instructions. And from there, the AI is going to return the modified site content and save it into DB and return to front end. And Zustan, which is for state management, is going to re-render the preview. That is how the chart editor works. What about the deployment? How does it work? 
The first step is that when I click on deploy, once again, I haven't finished implementing this one, but this is a flow. It is going to call an endpoint for deployment. And from there, it is going to generate the HTML from site content and call vessel API. And from there, it is going to save the deployment record in one database and return live URL. That is how it works. The core implementation will be done using AI. Now, let's look at the tech stack for this application. And that is what makes up this application. I use what is called NestJS, which is a React framework for the web. We use this one to build the full stack application. And then I use MongoDB as a database to store the site information, including user authentication as well. And Stripe for the subscription and Zustan for state management for the re-rendering of the site and ShardCN for the UI and Rusit React for icons and Clegg for authentication Anthropic and OpenAI for the models and Vessel for deployment. So knowing all these pieces will help you to enhance this application to make it a production ready AI SaaS product. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe, comment and share for more videos like this. Catch you up in my next video.